Nature Walk on the Beach by Louise and Richard Spilsbury. Where are we going? We are going to the beach. A beach is a place where the land meets the ocean. We are going on a nature walk to spot some amazing plants and animals there. It can be sunny, windy, and wet at the beach. Bring a sun hat, coat, and rubber boots. Choose clothes that do not rustle when you move, so they do not scare away wildlife. What is up on the cliffs? Look up at the cliffs through your binoculars. Can you see gulls in their nests made of grass, seaweed, and mud? Most birds lay eggs up high to keep them safe from predators. Guillemots lay their eggs on the edge of a cliff. The eggs are shaped like pears, so they roll in circles and do not fall off. What can you see in sand dunes? The plant you can see with lots of long leaves is marum grass. Its roots trap sand and help to form the hills we call dunes. Droppings and tufts of fur outside holes in the sand tell us these holes are rabbit burrows. Rabbits make burrows and dunes because sand is easy to dig in. They come out to eat grass. What is on the strand line? The strand line is where high tides wash up waste and dead seaweed. Can you find any dogfish egg cases? These tough, leathery cases protect baby dogfish until they are born. Use a stick to lift some of the waste. Can you see tiny sand fleas jumping around? They eat rotting seaweed left behind by the tide and then hide under the sand. What are those lumps on the sand? Look down at the beach as you walk slowly toward the ocean. Can you spot strange coils of sand on the surface? What do you think they are? Lugworms swallow sand underground and take food from it. Then they squeeze the sand out of their bodies in coils at the surface. Hungry birds try to eat lugworms. Lugworm. Can you spot rings on the rocks? Look through your magnifying glass at ring-shaped grooves on the rocks. These are called scars. The scars tell us about an animal that lives here. What do you think made them? Scars. After a limpet moves around to feed on seaweed, it goes back to the same rock. The edge of its shell wears a groove in the rock that helps it to stick on tightly. What lives in tide pools? Use your nature spotter's guide to help you name the different sea creatures you see in tide pools. Sea anemones have long tentacles to sting tiny fish. Then. They eat them. There are hundreds of little tubes under a starfish's arms. These take turns sticking onto rocks to help the starfish move. They also help the starfish open shells, so it can eat the animals inside the shells. Can you spot some seaweed? Can you find seaweed in the shallow ocean? Look for parts called Hold fasts at the bottom of the seaweed. These cling to the rocks to stop waves from washing seaweed away. Bladder rack seaweed has bubbles of air on its fronds. This helps the fronds to float near the water surface to get light. Seaweed uses light to make food. Frond. How can I protect beaches? Did you enjoy your nature walk? Protect beaches and their wildlife by picking up litter and cleaning up any dog mess. Maybe you could help with a beach cleanup too. 
Try not to disturb animals living at the beach, and do not step on or pick wildflowers. If you protect beaches, you might see even more wildlife on your next nature walk. Exploring nature. These things will help you explore the beach on a nature walk. Binoculars. Notepad. Pencil. Nature Spotter's Guide. Magnifying Glass. Thank you.